Before Donald Trump's revolving door of attorneys and tricky advisors, before Michael Cohen and Rudy Giuliani, before even Roger Stone, was Roy Cohn, infamous and reviled for his legal work for Joseph McCarthy during the Red Scare and then the Lavender Scare. Cohn was the ultimate dirty trickster, ruthless and unwavering, notorious for always being on the offense, never give in, never admit fault, do anything to win, attack, delay, deflect. Sound familiar? Joining me now is Florida defense attorney John Sale. John served as an assistant special prosecutor on the Watergate team. He turned down the opportunity to join Donald Trump's defense team last year. So, Roy Cohn, John, tell me about your experiences with the man. Well, when I was a young assistant U.S. attorney here in the Southern District of New York, I had a couple of cases against him, and it was in his interest to be charming. Uh, which Donald Trump can be charming when he wants to be. And uh, he once told me that in the Army McCarthy days, he was humiliated by a lawyer named Joseph Welch. And he said it's never going to happen to him again. And Roy Cohn, you said a scoundrel, a snake, I think, which is a political article. Donald Trump supposedly has said many times in frustration, where's my Roy Cohn? Roy Cohn was like his consigliere. Uh, he met Roy Cohen in 1973. I got to tell you quickly, one night, a month or two ago, I switched on Rachel Maddow, and she did a special on Vice President Agnew. Speech saying, the media is after me. The charges are false. I'll never resign. Well, he resigned. And last night, Lawrence O'Brien. Oh, O'Donnell. O'Donnell, excuse me. Yeah. Thinking of the basketball commissioner, Lawrence O'Donnell. <laughs> His opening bit was, I just wrote it down, a big picture in the New York News, Nixon blasts false charges, and he resigns. Roy considered them losers, quitters. So he said never quit. He would go on the attack. Roy, Donald Trump is indicted four times, so the feds twice. The feds conviction rate is north of 95%. So who on earth can win every case? Because he's got to win every case. Well, guess what? Roy Cohn was indicted by the feds three times, separate cases, unrelated. They involved obstruction, perjury. Each time, a jury found him not guilty. And Donald Trump saw that. And Roy attacked. He attacked everyone. He attacked my boss, Bob Bolenthal. He attacked Bob Bolenthal's dad, who was long deceased, who had been in FDR's cabinet. Roy, take no prisoners. It's been reported that he said once to a, an associate in his firm, I get a new case. Don't tell me anything about the law or the facts. Tell me who the judge is, meaning who can it go by influence? Who can I get to? Uh, Roy Cohn was ruthless, and I think Donald Trump learned from him. So it sounds a lot like the, the playbook that Donald Trump is using now. Uh, oh, exactly. Just attack, attack, exactly. attack, attack, attack. The judge in his D.C. case, the election interference case, Judge Chutkan, has tried to say if you, if, you, if you use your platform to do anything that might sully the case, intimidate witnesses, etc., I will speed up this case. Are those sorts of warnings enough to make Donald Trump pull back. Is there anything that she can do to get him to temper his language? I think that was very creative. I think it does not work. They're not connected. You can't, you don't punish somebody by speeding up the trial. He's entitled to the effective assistance of counsel. There's a lot of discovery. The trial date has to be set in well, an appropriate time. Well, she's saying she doesn't want to. She doesn't want to uh, tamper with the the pool of jurors that might be out there, or tamper with witnesses. And in order to to keep them as as safe and keep the process as safe as possible and as pure as possible, she's going to have to do it quicker. If it were one of my clients, mm -hmm. she would lock him up. The head of FTX was out on bail. Sam Bankman-Fried. He was out on bail. He tampered with witnesses. His bail was revoked. He's in jail. I think I understand that it could make him a martyr, that it could promote some violence. We can't be influenced by that. If he crosses the line, he's got to so be. So what would you do if you were the judge? Well, I'm glad I'm not. But uh, I would think I would have to say, Mr. Trump, not President Trump, not boss, not sir. Mr. Trump, you're a criminal defendant. You're out on release. Here are the rules. One, I'm going to give you a warning once, one time and only, and here are some things you've done, which if you do them again, I'm going to revoke your bond, and we're going to figure out a way, and you're going to be in custody. Just don't do it anymore. 
That, that's what I would do if I were the judge. Donald Trump in custody, don't you run the risk, though, as, it, uh, as you said, of making him a martyr for his supporters? You do, but you know what else is on trial? He's entitled to the presumption of innocence in every one of the cases. The rule of law is on trial. Uh, Professor Walter Isaacson from Tulane said, also, our democracy is on trial. Uh, we, have, we can't be intimidated. Uh, we have to take a stand, or maybe we'll have a strong man government, like in Hungary or the way Israel's going. Uh, I think we simply have to say enough's enough. John Sale, it's really great to have you in person. And it's a great reminder that Donald Trump got this playbook from somebody. He had a mentor, and uh, Roy Cohn was it. And to remind us how Roy Cohn addressed the multiple indictments against him and, as you said, how he got off. Um, appreciate it, sir. Good to Thank see you. Thank you. Thanks for having me.